The final race of day two and the final flat race of the week for me is the one mile seven and a half foot on pre Royal Oak. A group one race. And it's Caribus at the top, Dan Hughes, imperceptibly Leon Van Rensburg, Maximum Security, Paul Rose, Bell Ringer, and Dubious Debbie for Joshua Sutherland, Million Vents, Darren Thompson, Moogie Valois, Derek Hinton, Rocky Mount Desert, Vinnie Gerard, Running Chi for David Robertson, Tax Court, Leon Van Rensburg, Tax Texas, Craig Beckwith, Carmelian, Dan Hughes, Sydney Money, David Robertson, Trap Miles, Darren Thompson, Firepower, Paul Rose, and Ulin Potential for Vinnie Gerard. A field of 16 there, big field for this. Installed and away they go then in this big long distance group one event to close off day two of week 12. Just one more week to go after this week. And Dubious Dev is going off into a clear lead. Nick Driver will be here tomorrow to take you through the extremes of day three from the million pound races at the Breeders' Cup to the All Weather Championship finals. Old Nick saving me a day, helping me out, and doing a very good job as well. I hope he comes back next season and does something similar. And it's Ju Jubius Debbie who is in the lead. Well, Moogie Valois second, Bell Ringer is third. Then comes Imperceptibly and Yulin Potential. Tax Court and Firepower as they race past the Totalisator board, press the second of the big screens and all the people in the tented villages or the bars or whatever they are. They're probably not bars, are they, in France? They're more sophisticated than us. They don't have beer tents and things. They have sort of different things. Anyway, Jimmy Tepe's in the lead from Moogie Valois in second. Then Bell Rear and Trap Miles running cheese next. Then Yulin Potential and Imperceptibly one or two of these. Went a bit wide on the track. The story from the people that are supposed to know these things is that there's no sort of negative effect of being wide on this course. It balances itself out, apparently. I don't know how that works, but apparently there are a couple of courses where if you get stuck wide on the track, it doesn't actually cost you any ground, although it looks like it should do. I think this and York are probably two of them. I'm pretty sure Leon told me that a long time ago. I might have got it wrong, but I think that's the case that there are some courses where the, the sort of bias on the bends doesn't actually have the negative effect that you'd think it might do and that this track is one of them. And Dubious Debbie or Moogie Valois, so it's one that's suggested as a trial course I think for a lot of people. A lot of people use Ascot and Newmarket because it's got big long straights. And if you want to bend, I think this and York are the ones that are suggested. You're not going to get so many dodgy results. But anyway, it's Dubious Debbie in the lead. Moogie Valois second, check that up with somebody if you want to know about it, asking their forums because I might have got that wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what I heard a long time ago. But it's Dubious Debbie in the lead, on Moogie Valois, then Maximum Security, Yulin Potential is after that, Carmelian, Rocky Mountain Desert trying to get into it, so is Caribus, the two are right out the back, are imperceptibly in trap miles, they're down to the final two furlongs, and Dubious Debbie is trying to make all, but she's a sitting duck in front at the moment, Carmelian, Yulin Potential coming through, then running Chi, Rocky Mountain Desert, Sydney Money and Firepower, but Dubious Debbie with a furlong to go, is still in the lead, running Chi comes into second, then Rocky Mountain Desert, Carmelian, Million Vents is absolutely flying up the centre of the track and it's Million Vents is going to swoop through and take the lead, Million Vents then hits the lead, close home and it's going to be close for second, Bell Ring is finishing first but Million Vents wins it, Bell Ring was second, Julius Debbie might hold on to a place, Trap Miles was nowhere today, didn't get involved at all, but Darren Thompson, the man of the moment over on the jumps, I mean, taking the Irish Grand National today I'll probably give that away if you watch the flat first sorry for that but Million Vents is the winner for Darren Thompson Bell Ringer second for Joshua Sutherland Dubious Debbie for Joshua Sutherland again was third fourth and it's just disappeared from view Caribus Dan Hughes fifth Rocky Mountain Desert for Vinnie Gerard. that's it that's day two in the book for week 12 I've just got one more week to do next week uh, Nick Driver will take you through all the stuff tomorrow all with the finals and rest of the Breeders' Cup and probably some other stuff as well.